hello welcome back into the channel so i want to reveal something to you that the lord had uh, well i want to share something with you that the lord had revealed to me actually way into last week um, what he revealed to me is that many of you are in a season of stagnation right now where you know just recently you were in a season where everything was going really fast or you were at a point in time more because this is all a part of the same season by the way and i've been releasing messages on that on this season that a lot of the children of the body of christ are in right now but many of you are in a period in time right now where things appear to be a little stagnant where once everything was going smoothly and you could hear the voice of God and you could feel God and you knew that God was walking with you, you knew you were going in the right direction, but now suddenly everything has come to a halt. Suddenly some of the things that were in the works have come to a halt. And I'm not speaking about myself here. This is just something that the Lord had revealed to me for a lot of you right now within the body of Christ. A lot of the things that maybe you were working on with the Lord has come to a halt. And what that means is that you're not able to hear God like you once did. You don't, you're not really sure if you're on the same path. You're not really sure what to do next. And some of you have been specifically saying, Lord, um, help me. Lord, I need help. And what God is saying to that is, hold on, help is on the way. And he said something very specific. He gave me a specific word. And the word was leverage. And the reason for the stagnation is because God is getting ready to give you leverage. And when God gives you leverage, that means that there has to be a strategic plan put in place so that you're not only just going to receive a breakthrough. You're not only just going to have a testimony and receive a breakthrough and then go back to struggling. What leverage means is to push something to its maximum maximum capacity. What it means is that God is getting ready to send something into your life, send some kind of help into your life, whether this be through a person, whether this be through an opportunity, and usually opportunities do come through people. People. God is getting ready to send help into your life to the point where it's going to leverage you to reach your mass maximum capacity and what it is that God has called you to, to do. It's not just it's not small. It's not going to be small. It's going to be huge. It reminds me of, you know, some of you are in a Job moment right now. Some of you are in a moment where everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. Or, you know, Job was in a season where he couldn't, like, he, it, he was, where are you, God, <laughs> right? His wife was like, you should just curse God because it appeared that God wasn't helping them. It appeared that God wasn't with him. And so some of you are in a season where you're saying, Lord, I can't hear you anymore. I'm not sure if I'm on the right path. You need God to give you vision. You need God to give you uh, eyes to see and ears to hear. You need God to give you a sign that you're still on the right path because you're like, Lord, I've I followed what you want me to do and now I have no idea. Some of you are in a Job moment right now. The Lord just revealed that to me right now as I'm just speaking. And the Lord is saying, hold on because help is on the way. Job was, he, st he stood firm. He stood his ground and he was faithful. He was so faithful. And the Lord God says, all it takes is a mustard seed because he just like I love it when I'm speaking the Lord begins to drop things in me as I'm speaking the Lord just revealed to me that some of you are saying Lord I don't have any faith you're saying I need faith but Lord I don't have any more faith and God says it's okay that you don't have a lot of faith all you need is a mustard seed all you need is a mustard seed of faith and God can use that Job was faithful and he understood that no matter what he was going through, no matter what his situation looked like, even if he was in a transition season to go to receive double, he was still going to be faithful towards God. He was still going to honor God. He was still going to trust God. He still was going to understand and trust and believe. I did a message on believing. I spoke on the woman with the issue of blood, how, she, how he said, woman, your faith has made you whole. Job had understood that he was still going to believe that God was with him even when he didn't hear God, even when he didn't see any signs of God, even when things weren't flourishing. He understood that there is a divine order. There's a divine plan with it all. This is what God needs you to do in this season. He doesn't need you to have an immeasurable amount of faith. And I do I do ask right now, Lord God, that you do send those people who are struggling in the area of their faith. I ask that you send them the gift of faith because you tell us in your word that faith is a gift. It's a gift. 
I ask that you send your Holy Spirit to give them the gift of faith in this, in this period of time, in the name of Jesus. But Job was in a season where he didn't, like everything around him and externally would say that God wasn't with him, but that couldn't have been further, for the tr further from the truth. The Lord controls everything. That means that there's nothing that's happening in your life right now that's outside of the sight or the understanding or the knowing of God or the awareness of God. He's aware of everything that's happening in your life. And because you're his child, there's a certain measure of protection over you. There, do you know that Satan is on a leash almost? There's only so much he's allowed to do on the earth. There's only so much he's allowed to do in your life. And I've done plenty of messages on that, on how Satan operates in the realm of legalities. But there's only so much that he's allowed to do on the earth. Be faithful because the Lord is saying, hold on, help is on the way. He's getting ready to give you leverage that's going to propel you into a season where you are reaching your maximum capacity and what it is that he's called you to do. He's not going to give you leverage to, to fulfill worldly desires. So that's the case and you're waiting on that. You may have to go back in your time with the Lord and kind of like rehash some things out with God, with God on that. That's another message. I can go into another message on that. The Lord will not give you resources and tools to be successful in worldly avenues, worldly desires. This is for those of you who you know that you're doing what God has called you to do. And you're saying, Lord, I've, I've followed you. And now where are you? And he's saying, hold on. Help is on the way. He is getting, he's preparing strategic leverage for you. I love you all. For those of you who have not shared this message, I invite you to share this message because many people are in, in the body of Christ are in this season right now. The Lord revealed this to me in the spirit. I love you all. This is why I, I make it a point to actually show up every day. There are some days, I'm going to be honest with you, where I'm like, Lord, I don't feel well. Lord, I'm going through a lot. Lord, I don't want to I don't want to show up. The Lord releases a word and I can't hold that word to myself. I have to get out and release it. So I love you all. If you feel led to sow into this word, I invite you to sow a seed into this word. I'm a firm believer of sowing and reaping. There are hundreds of testimonies, probably in the thousands at, the, at this point, of things that the Lord have done for people just because they've been obedient and they've sowed. I'm a firm believer of sowing and reaping. Um, so if you feel led to sow into this word, I do invite you to sow. Um, and... Um, make sure that you hit the notification bell. I was trying to think of the word that it was. I, I always forget that. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I do want you to be locked in to what the Lord is doing in this season. So I love you all and make sure you subscribe as well. I'll talk with you in the next message.